Good morning, dreamers. Oh. oh, it's over there. You can tell I'm still getting into the swing of things. Ooh. Did not want to wake up this morning, but I did. But I did. Welcome home. The kitties are very glad we're here. Yes, they are. Very, very, very glad. Oh, it's good to take some time away and rest. Have you ever felt like you needed to say something to someone and then you didn't do it? Hmm. Someone encouraged me yesterday. Simply by asking specific questions about my children, very specific. I'm encouraged every day by the people that don't tell me I'm doing it wrong, <laughs> this mom thing. But sometimes you just need to hear, good job. This is what your children are growing up learning. They see that no matter what happens with them, they're safe with you. And safety and security is really big in my spirit and in my heart because that is something that went missing in my married life. And when I say things like security, I don't mean finances. Those are always gonna be tough because you can be the wealthiest of wealthy, and, or at least be perceived that way, but meanwhile you have seven mortgages on your house, and you know, you can be perceived a specific way and it still not be what it looks like to the world. The reality can be very different. <clears throat> Finances are not what help me feel secure. Security for me is my emotions are validated and and I'm, I'm held, I'm emotionally secure and safe. That I am important enough to acknowledge and to be seen. And that is what I want more than anything else for my kids, that they are secure, that they are safe. And someone verbalized that, it was in text form, but they verbalized that for me and I started to cry. I started to cry because in working things out as I was away from the push and shove of every day, my brain was very active at night in my dreams. And I woke up one night with having had a nightmare of someone telling me that I was destroying this, 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 this. All those fears that are unfounded and no one is saying them to me all those fears like the evil one just wants me to be afraid constantly afraid because if i'm afraid i am not active but i know that faith equals having doubts and having questions the opposite of faith is certainty knowing for sure and i think we're very very in a dangerous place when we are so absolutely certain on things that are beyond who we are in our human form. We are created image bearers of God, taught the way of the kingdom through Jesus Christ the only thing I'm certain of and the way is one of sacrifice and mercy and grace and you know all those things Jesus taught and demonstrated in his life death and resurrection the certainty of what happens after the certainty about where what what the author meant as an English major we can study Chaucer all we want, but do we really know what was in the mind of Chaucer when he wrote things down? 
no no don't think that was inspired and used by the holy spirit but you know what i mean like to to truly grasp things where there are no english words to translate means that there's going to be some confusion but where there's no confusion is love the lord your god with all your heart soul and mind and love your neighbor as yourself and someone chose to listen to spirit and she verbalized something out of the blue that I didn't realize I was struggling with. So if somebody's on your mind or heart today, follow through. Even if it's just a, hey, I was thinking about you. Don't sit on it. Don't hide it. If a name crosses your brain today, contact them. Don't preach at them. Don't remind them that they need to do dot, 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 dot. Just love them. It's my encouragement for Tuesday. And if no brain, if no name is crossing your brain, maybe you're supposed to look in the mirror. But at the same time as looking in the mirror, we must look outward to those God has given us influence with. Those in our lives that matter to us. It could be so close to us that we forget they need our validation. It could be the teenager down the hall. I don't know. But it could be someone you haven't spoken to in years. And hey, I've been following your odds and sods on social media. You are awesome. You just need to know that. What you're putting out into the world is notch I don't know whatever God has for you today though follow through that's the word for today Just follow through because there's something you didn't wake up today with no purpose you didn't wake up today for no reason so if it's write a poem write a poem if it's write a book start if it's call a friend, pick up the phone and call. Calls are so unique these days because texts are the way it goes. Encourage one another. I had a friend call me yesterday too. I had two friends call me yesterday. No, no, one was Sunday and then one was yesterday. Out of the blue phone calls that were so encouraging, it was just remarkable. And so putting those two calls along with yesterday's text conversation, it was the Holy Spirit's way of saying, yeah, you're doing it. Don't give up and don't go backwards. You never know who you could be impacting. So follow through. Anyway, that's enough for me today. You can tell I've missed you. Because our conversations over the past week haven't been all they used to be. But that's what happens when dad is running out. Anyway, much love. Sweet dreams. Bye.